Welcome back, Nanny Flick fans. Uh, today we're going to do uh, four films as per usual. Two new ones and two older ones. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. We don't do something, but that's the closest we get. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um, our, one of our newer ones is Big River Man, a documentary from 2009. And the newly released Salt, starring Angelina Jolie. And the older ones, we will start off with Tron from 1982. And The Untouchables from 1987. So let's get started with The Big River Man. <laughs> Horse burger, what? Horse burger. Horse burger, horse burger, yes. Many Slovenians eat horse burgers. Horse burger is one of the most popular food in our country. Me and Martin love them too. The horse burger is like a chicken burger. The only difference is that it's made from horse meat. Horse burger, yeah. Horse, horse burger. Martin Strell is not a household name, but the portly 56-year-old Slovenian has some mighty accomplishments under his belt. Big River Man, directed by John Marangun, is the documentary story of his attempt to swim the length of the Amazon River at 5,268 kilometres in 2007. By this time, he had already swam the Mississippi River and the Yangtze River in China and became the only person to have ever done so. The story is told through the narration and eyes of his son, Borut, who is his spokesperson and part of Martin's support crew. Martin's quest is to bring world t attention to the mistreatment of these major waterways, but he remains an enigmatic figure, an alcoholic swilling whiskey and wine whilst in the water, and unable to express much of himself or his motivations, leaving his son to fill in the gaps for the audience. I wanted to love Big River Man, when I heard the story of this man's gargantuan achievements. But as the film unfolded and Martin became more and more elusive, I couldn't help but feel detached from the story. And while this in no way detracts from the amazing feats the man has completed, the documentary reaches no real climax and left me feeling a little flat. Ellen? <laughs> well, I watched this and I was like, now that's doco. Right. I loved it, loved it. Okay. I just like <clears throat> from the from the moment it's so quirky and fascinating, and you know I never obviously heard of this man, which is such a shame. And I was mm. watching it, kind of like redefined this hero for me in a way. Mm. You know, someone who does this, who comes up with the idea yeah, to do this yeah. as you know a way of making a comment on how polluted these waterways are and how it's affecting the world. Yeah, I mean, we just see the shots of the Yangtze and the, if they say it's the most polluted river in the world it's, oh, and it's oh. shocking and he's swimming through this gunk. And he's swimming past dead bodies, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just, it's wrong. It like, is. But, you know, I mean, he's so, it's, if it, if it wasn't real, you'd think it was made up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrible. I agree. Like this hulking... Big Slovenian, 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 yeah. Slovenians. Um, you know, beer guzzling, alcohol drinking, like eating yeah. horse burgers and yeah, horse burgers, <laughs> that's right. horse burger, horse burger. Yeah, but like you know, this like, the way the way it's narrated, it's interesting and I'm amazed you had that reaction to it. Yeah, I mean, it's not so much the story uh, because, like I said, it's amazing, mm -hmm. it's fully amazing, and uh, it's a real shame that. Uh, um, this documentary is not more widely known because then his accomplishments would be more widely known. Mm. Um, but I mean, it's just it's missing something for me, and I think okay. it's I think it's him. He is he is because he doesn't speak and he's learning English. You find out at the beginning of the of the you know, yeah they set the scene early where he can't hardly string an English sentence together. Absolutely, yeah. and so his son does a lot of the talking for him. And his son is so quirky you know yeah, yeah um but yet as it goes on he learns a little bit more english and you know you see him when he when the first time we hear him speaking english he's having these is when he's kind of going a little bit it's fair yeah yeah like i don't want to you know the fourth dimension yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you think he's whack um yeah uh it's because it, i think it was nominated you know um uh it won the cinematography award at sundance and was nominated for the grand jury prize won the cinematography award. yeah okay um, 
I mean, I obviously didn't know that when I was watching it. Mm. But I just, I thought it was, I found it really interesting. I actually liked the fact that he didn't talk that much. I felt I knew a bit more about him as a, as a person in a way, that he was so mysterious. And mm. then you'd see him in this particular way. And then when he was interacting with the tribes, you know, yeah, on the... on the long end song, yeah. Isn't it, that's fascinating that you had that reaction. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, like... It's just the way that, that it's that it's made for yeah, me, yeah. Um, and uh, and I mean it, it does give you a bit of background about how he was abused by his father, and, and he you know he, how he started mm-hmm. swimming was he uh, to escape his father he you know swam this river and it's freezing cold and and it's basically like he's still on that swim. Yeah, yeah. And um, that that is fascinating. Mm. Um, it ends in a very sad way though. Like I it does after everything after all the hope that it, oh, I don't know we should say talk about the ending. Well, well, spoiler alert. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, after after everything that is pumped up, yeah, how he's pumped up throughout the piece as this sort of national hero, and you know, I mean, he's known very very well known over there, um, yeah. and then to kind of see this beautiful, you know, this kind of oh, what's the word I'm looking for? What is what's firework? This beautiful kind of firework, you know, go and then kind of fizzle out at yeah. the end. You know, that was my kind of analogy for it. I kind of went, oh. And that sort of explains why um, the story and his story is not more widely known because, I mean, he suddenly he had these, um, you know, talk shows in America pull, pull out. You know, they wanted him originally and then they said no, no. And then he couldn't get it, the message across to a mass audience. Yeah. Uh, which isn't really, that's the biggest shame. Absolutely. Um, but, um, it's amazing what he did, just just amazing. Yeah. You know, I, I actually, I would lump this doco in my top five. Really? Yeah, I would. I yeah. mean, you know, up there, with, I mean, it's such a different kind of, it kind of was reminiscent of me of Murder Ball in a way, you know, just yeah. taking this, <clears throat> taking a topic which could easily be very pious and yeah, um, drawn out and boring and uninteresting and really adding some punch to it, you know, it just making it quirky and funny and look at this man and look what he's doing and yeah. I just, I loved it. Um, the American um, part of the, the, the American guy that's part of the support crew, he, <laughs> I didn't know, I wasn't sure of him, I didn't know about him. He's whack. Well, it was interesting, you know, I mean, in the, in the I mean, yeah, you don't want to talk about what happens with his journey throughout the piece, Yeah. but he kind of really, yeah, the son explains what happens when he goes a little bit you know, when you're kind of watching him and going, what the hell's going on there? Yeah. Um, but that, I thought it was fascinating, yeah. you know. Um, I, know, I wasn't too sure about him. He was, he was talking in big game. <laughs> and I was a bit like, uh, like the piousness that you're talking about, he sort of went into that area. There was that, like, and I, I pay that. But it was only, there was, uh, there was a small part of it, and I think it was offset, that was offset by the commentary from the sun from, from about Borat. what was going on and about what he was saying and how he was acting. If it wasn't for Borat, then it would be a much lesser film for sure. Absolutely. The sun was, yeah, he was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. We'll okay. give it some nails. Yeah. All right. Go on then. <laughs> I'm going to give it eight out of ten. I'm going to give it six out of ten. Okay. <laughs> In the morning, In the morning it's very, very exciting. Talking. So much crying. Very famous must be in the morning, early in the morning. Now it's more peace, more quiet. Nobody crying, nobody talking. Peace, <laughs> peace. That's not big town, Los Angeles. 24 hours a day, many cars. No cars here. People need this. But people don't know what is Amazon, what is jungle. I can look around to see some animals. Must be careful, okay, but I think it's not so dangerous. It's dangerous in the banks, it's dangerous, yeah, but in the water, no. Every year it's good to stay. In jungle, two, three weeks. Be big difference for all the people.